Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a boss rabbit i think that's what his name is and it's coming in from shack but before i go ahead and get the shack's card send me custom cards to bhf custom cards at gmail.com so i can get to your custom card in the future i'm getting all these older custom cards out the way so shack says hey dev hope you're having a good time and hopefully you had a great 2023 this was sent to me in december 28th of last year man this is a couple days before new year's eve uh, uh and he said and hopefully you had a great 2023 which i am not gonna lie it was it was good it was eventful but it was good i'm not gonna lie um i made a custom card again hopefully you'll read no hopefully you'll enjoy reading through it excuse me guys i completely glanced over it but yeah shaq thank you for sending me your custom card um i've read shaq's, shaq's cards in the past i have i do remember reading his cards in the past so with that being said i gotta go ahead and put the dokkan wiki on the other side while i grab up all of the uh parts of the card so okay so we have a what's he uh it's it's boss rap right or monster carrot big bad bunny he better have big bad bosses big bad bunny monster carrot he is extreme int and his leader skill is three key and won 70 percent across the board to inhuman deeds legendary existence or dragon ball saga and he 30 percent of stats is to earthlings terrifying conquerors or earth bread fighters editing dev you know what to do already so this is what the 200 percent leader skill is looking like um i feel like this boss rabbit is going to have uh, to have db saga characters with him for him to be effective i just have a weird feeling and if that's the case i mean we do have the we do have the new Dokkan Fest Master Roshi, who isn't on, he is, oh, I'm about to say. Yeah, okay, so we do have the new Dokkan Fest Master Roshi, as well as the Bunny Balma here. Of course, you can still get some use out of uh, LR Balma herself. Um, but then outside of that, these guys are, eh, they just, I mean, attack stat, nice attack stat, but whatever. Um, these guys, however, could be an interesting option, no? You, uh, could you make DKP? Probably not, no? Probably not when DKP gets an easy A. But then outside of that, you have Tech UI Goku, you have AGL UI Goku, you have STR UI Goku, the three UI Gokus right there. Um, and of course, you have Yamcha and Puar, who is getting a video today. And then Frieza. <laughs> Got Goku, uh, Pathku, and so on and so forth. So let me go ahead and pull up his uh, passive. So it's passive just right over here make sure it looks good on the screen okay i'm just going to zoom out a little bit all right so he activates the interest animation when there is a joint forces ally on the team or when there is a db saga category enemy and five key and 100 percent defense just flat he just gets that for the rest of the battle so you have to go up against a db saga category enemy makes sense because of course he pulls up on goku right i haven't seen og dragon ball in a minute but i'm pretty sure he pulls up on does he pull up on goku and Bulma, I, I think, I don't remember. I haven't seen OG Dragon Ball in a, quite a minute. But I'm like, man, last time I watched OG Dragon Ball was like COVID. <laughs> so, uh, five key and 100% defense provided you have a joint forces category ally on the team or if you go up against a DB Saga character. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. And 150% attack when performing a super attack for the rest of the battle. That's just by itself. And he gets one key, 200% defense, and 100% attack. Okay, so he has a lot of stats. He gets 150% attack when performing a super. He starts out with five key, 100% defense for his interest animation buff, as well as one key, 200% defense, and 100% attack just at the start of turn. He also gets a 30% chance to dodge, plus an additional 20% chance to dodge when key is 12, plus an additional 20% chance to dodge again, so that goes up from... 30 up to uh, uh 50 up to 70 when his key is at 18 and when you're above uh, well no when you get to a 24 key you're at a 90 percent chance to dodge interesting because the 30 percent chance is just just flat it just starts out at 30 percent you get to 12 key that's a 50 percent chance to dodge you get to 18 key that's a 70 percent chance to dodge and you get to 24 key that's a 90 percent chance to dodge wow so i i love when custom cards I, I love like cohesive designs like this is i like this well provided he's a rainbow orb changer which he probably is we're gonna see 
it's gonna really help out him support directly supporting him i like that i like when lr is a reward for getting key i it's just something about it. i like the design i like it for vanilla doka i like it for custom card concepts it's just one of my favorite things about a card because it's just like it's it's i mean cool i mean <laughs> it's a cool thing right it's just something that it's just worth pointing out randomly changes two key spheres colors into carrot key spheres okay so he's a double key sphere changer to carrot key spheres okay and he gets two key per key sphere obtained so he's two key per key sphere obtained and he gets four key per carrot key sphere obtained so he's gonna very easily get that 90 percent chance to dodge wow and he's also effective against all types when collecting a carrot key sphere so he just gets that for free you're gonna easily get a carrot key sphere every single rotation because he's double orb changing these carrot key spheres randomly and all allies get 50 percent attack and defense as well as 15 percent damage reduction for two turns when collecting two or more carrot key spheres that is very very strong that's a very strong support buff 50 percent attack and defense and 15 percent damage reduction for the entire rotation for two turns what okay and uh an additional 170 percent attack and attacks guaranteed to land and launches an additional super with three or more carrot key spheres obtained. Okay, so he gets a guaranteed super, more attack, and a guaranteed uh, attack to land. Nice. The the thing that is nice out of all that is definitely the little additional attack buff as well as the guaranteed super. The guaranteed hits to land is... Who really cares about that? Let's be honest. Uh, and recovers 5% HP for each carrot key sphere obtained. And launches active skill when conditions are met. So let's unpack this, right? So I do like the fact that provided you activate his interest animation buff, he is getting key and defense just out the gate. On top of his already starter turn key, uh, defense, and attack. So if you add that all up, that's with his interest animation buff, with his starter turn attack and defensive buff, he gets essentially six key, 300% defense, and 100% attack just flat out at the start of that turn. He also gets up to a 90% chance to dodge when you get to 24 key, which is going to be very easily manageable for him because he gets four key per key sphere obtained. And if you don't get those carrot key spheres for whatever reason, he's getting two key per key sphere obtained. So he can easily touch a 90% chance to dodge as well as him having effective against all types, uh, provided you get those three or more carrot key spheres, which is going to be very easy for you to get because he's double, he's, he's double orb changing into carrot key spheres. So he's giving... He's giving 50% attack and defense and 15% damage reduction. He's giving crazy support for multiple turns. He's uh, launching a guaranteed super. He recovers HP per carrot keys to obtain, which is going to be very, very good for the team. He's getting up to a 90% chance to dodge. He's effective against all types. Four keeper keys to obtain for his carrots, as well as two keeper keys to obtain for regular key spheres. He's, what can I say? I mean, on the defensive end, a 90% chance to dodge, you cannot pass up on it. You, you just can't. And with that double carrot key sphere, uh, um, orb changing that's that that's easily the strongest thing about his card a 90 percent chance to dodge while having four key per care keys are obtained that's that's strong i mean what more can i say about that let me just go ahead and close that out let's pull up the next thing all right so his active skill so his active skill magic touch turns the enemy oh my god that zoomed in a lot turns the enemy into a carrot for one turn the enemy is unable to attack and takes an increased 40 percent damage while as a carrot so you do an additional 40 percent more damage can be done starting from the fourth turn in battle so it's just a very easy active skill condition as well as i mean you're doing increased damage you, you basically get a ghost usher and an additional 40 percent damage for the entire rotation to the carrot that you turn into all right and there's a uh, 12 key that being Rabbit, Goon's Assault, he greatly stacks attack and does colossal damage, okay. And his 18 key, the Explosive Carrot Barrage, he gets 100% attack for one turn while doing Meg Colossal Damage with a 50% chance to crit. So he has, he has crit chance in his in his 18 key super while greatly stacking attack, attack buff on super as well as additional attack when he gets those key spheres for uh, his carrots. I mean, he's not going to be looking too bad offensively. He does get that additional super too. From his uh from those three or more characters he's obtained i what can i say the design is pretty dope i mean this is this is this dokon-esque um maybe they wouldn't make him four key per character obtained but um guys i gotta say i i like the design 
And I'm not even a big dodge guy. I'm not. That, you guys know I'm all offense. But you can find a way to be offensively good with this card. Because offensively, he has crit chance inside his 18 key super attack effect. As well as him greatly stacking attack in his 12 key. He gets effective against all types. He can do an additional super with three or more carrier key spheres obtained. He's... He also gets an attack buff when you get those three three or more characters just obtained, as well as getting an attack buff on super. So on the offensive end, he's probably not going to be looking too shabby. And on the supporting end, he's giving 50% attack and defense, as well as 15% damage reduction for two turns. Two turns. Like, like that's, that's good. <laughs> he's not giving key, but 50% attack and defense, as well as 15% damage reduction is, that's, that's magnifico. That's good. And his links, Coward, Brainiacs, more than meets the eye. The Incredible Adventure, Fierce Battle, Thirst of Conquest, Legendary Power, and his categories are as shown. Um, is this guy on Legendary Existence? I'm gonna say, W card. I'm all for it. And he isn't on Legendary Existence. He's so old. Awaken him. Awaken, awaken him. Hello? Hello? Doom, 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 doom. Can we, excuse the sound effect, but come on. Awaken him. Uh, April Fools, next year. Awaken, Halloween, Awaken, um, this, this old ass event, can we, can we get something? March of 2017 for JP and May of 2017 for Global. Okay, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up his, uh, art again. I appreciate the guys watching. You guys are the best. Send me custom cards at BHF, custom cards at gmail.com. Shaq, thank you for sending me your card. Um, of course, I can, uh, get to your cards in the future that's what i'm just tacking on to what i said about the email get to your cards in the future uh while i'm getting all these older custom cards out the way i'll catch you guys next time i absolutely love you all join the 24 7 discord serve the links down below in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed the video peace